Well, here we go again. Second part of the journey. Hopefully, I don't get lost this time. End up in Guatemala or something. No, hopefully, I'll get the right bus, the right train to the airport, get on the right plane. So, <clears throat> what's this space? Well, I must be the only backpacker after this time. Get a few funny looks. There's certainly not much tourists about. There's no tourists about. Usual sort of stuff going on. There's a bit of construction going on in the background there. So we're building a new tram line. But all the boats, all the boats are all stationary. All the tourist boats are all docked. Nobody going anywhere doing any sightseeing. The bars are closed. So yeah, it's pretty much the same as back home. I did manage to get a drink last night from the takeaway, which is good. So maybe there's a there's a wee idea for some of the takeaways back home. So start knocking out carryouts. So strange going through security and there's absolutely no one here. Usually these aisles are packed. It's just like ghost town. Fucked up again. Basically what happened was I nearly got charged 500 euros because I booked through Kiwi.com which is like a flight facilitator, a booker thing. But it was three flights. One from Dublin to Zurich and Zurich to Amsterdam and from Amsterdam to Mexico but the one from Dublin was cancelled so they were wanting another 200 euros to go another way somewhere else in Europe so I looked at it by an air it was only a flight for 30 quid 30 euros to go from Dublin to here but an overnight stay in a hotel it's 40 quid so I thought yeah I'll do that and thought everything would be fine got to the check-in desk and he goes oh sir you know you haven't taken your original flights and that's 500 euros please. <laughs> it's like, uh, what? So anyway, they were good about it, they were diplomatic and he said they, they used a, a phrase here as they, they looked look through the fingers and they sort of overlooked it and said, look, that's okay. It's a bit of a, a bit of a bu bureaucratic thing, but look, we'll let you on. But you was nearly being stroked 500 euros for not using the flight. So we'll let us all aboard. All aboard the flight to Mexico and just waiting to get everything sorted. Got my book, got my reading material. Thanks, Stephen. Got the What in the Americas. I've actually got a chance to finish it this time. You gave me it the last time I was going to the United States. And I read about two chapters of it and I haven't read anything since. So I'm going to get reading it on this journey. And I've also got my four hour work week book as well. So I'll get, get stuck into that there. The good thing about COVID is there's loads of spare seats. So you can just stick their feet up and have a wee, have a wee snooze. We touched down in Mexico. Yee. Let's see if we can find some beers. <laughs> hey! Hello, <Adios. laughs> amigos! I've arrived in a Mexico City. The best, best Tascos in Mexico City. We've got to wrap our drinks up, I guess, here. So the police can't see us. So. This is my first night here, gonna get a get a few beers down the neck and a few tacos down the esophagus. Try all the dishes here, we're getting the soup. He's making me some beef here. 